Hi guys, welcome back to another random Rick the Spuds mechanics video. I'm not a mechanic, but this was such an easy fix and it's been troubling me for so long, I thought I had to do a quick video on it. So if you've got a Ford, seemingly any Ford, um, Focus, Mondeo, this is a transit, but it seems to be a common problem on all Fords. If it cranks over, but it doesn't fire, then check your ignition switch. So first of all, excuse the state in here because it is my works potato delivery van and also the dog's in here most of the time. So if your Ford cranks over but it won't fire or it fires and then dies straight away, the first thing to check is when you crank it over, try pushing the key in more or when you crank it, either lift the key up or push the key down. I started doing this the other day and it if one side, if one way doesn't work, i.e. if I pull it down and it won't fire, don't just keep cranking it, literally stop cranking it and then lift the key up and then it will fire. Which if you have to push it in or manipulate the key to make it fire, chances are it's the ignition switch and it's really, really easy to fix. So this is the part, it's literally like an eight pounds part. This is the part that I've just taken off. Um, and it's the same part for a uh, Focus, a Mondeo, a Fiesta, a Fusion, a Transit Connect and a Transit. So it's the same part for all of them. It's obviously a common thing, that's why they're making so many of them. And it's basically this little block on the end of here. So I thought I was gonna have to change the whole um, ignition barrel, which then obviously means I've got to get a new key and a new immobilizer and get all that coded and stuff like that. But it's none of that and it's literally, just that part on there. So what you've got to do on the transit is literally pull the um, plate off that's underneath the dash. And then there's two uh, screws, hex screws, a T20, I believe, um, which unscrews the um, two screws that are underneath the dash. Little bit of manipulation to try and get the um, bottom cover off. But once the cover cover's off, then it's literally just a one-handed job. Push the two tabs in either side of the um, switch and pull that out and then there's one plug that comes off the back and then literally plug the new one back in clip it into the ignition uh, barrel and away you go one thing that i did notice is that it didn't click in straight away and then when i looked at it i noticed that the orientation of this slot here um, was different to the one that I'd just taken off. So what I had to do was um, get the key in there and twist it so it lined up the same direction and then it clipped straight in. And now, when I turn the key, it's actually quite stiff because obviously it's brand spanking new and it fires up every time. I don't have to manipulate the key or anything like that, which is mega. There you go, I hope that was helpful to somebody. If it was, like and subscribe down below, give me a thumbs up, uh, and also check out my other videos because they're a lot better produced than this, but this was so easy, and I just thought if someone had told me this six months ago, I would have tried this um, and not changed the battery or been investigating loads of other stuff. Have a good one, and I'll see you on the next one.